Hey Libras, welcome to Libra Vibes. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I send you guys love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what does not on this rock. If it don't apply, let it fly. If you would like to book a personal, my email is in the description box. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, then you belong here. If you don't have Libra in your chart, but you found this channel, then you also belong here. All right, y'all. So we're going to get into it and see what's the vibes, okay? See what spirit has for you guys at this time. What is the message here for my Libra babies at this time? What's the overall energy here, spirit? What's the overall energy here surrounding the Libras at this time? We have eat your fucking vegetables and have you eating. You're acting like a big ass baby. Okay, so it's like you guys are hungry. You want to diet? Like what you doing? Some of you guys are needing to eat your vegetables. All right, we do have a habit of eating a lot of junk. Depending on our lifestyle, right, what we have going on, it's like sometimes you eat out too much and you need to add some vegetables and shit to your diet, okay? So make sure you guys are getting the proper vegetables that you need, okay? I'm going to take that message as well. Also, it says um, on the back of the have you eaten, it says you need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. And then we have on the eat your fucking vegetables, it says eat some shit made by mother nature okay so it's given like for some of you here you're needing to add vegetables into your diet and for some here it's like you need to eat in general okay it's like it's taco tuesday have a taco today but it's like make sure you guys are eating and make sure you guys are actually getting you know your vegetables and things in as well it's like not too much on the fast food or or you know some could possibly be not eating at all Okay, there could be a cause in regards to this not eating. I'm getting the energy of like maybe you guys have been feeling like you're on the run a lot. You're not really having time, but you definitely need to make the time to put nourishment into your body to get the necessary energy that you need to get through your day here. Okay, so let's see what's what's going on here with this, the Libras and this eating here. What is the message here for the Libras at this time in regards to this overall energy? We have the nine of wands and the nine of cups so there could have been an ending here and i was feeling that energy here for some it's like there could have been some type of ending here maybe you lost your appetite it's like uh this could be in regards to love here with the king the female king of cups here on the bottom of this deck for some of you here it's, again it's like you're really busy it's like you have a lot of things to do also some of you guys could have gotten into something here where there was an ending and that could have kind of like messed with you you know altered your appetite maybe you're not eating too much it's like for some of you here you could have gotten into like some type of situation where you ended up with some type of scar here or something someone got a, a hell of a lot of stitches here that could have affected your diet as well maybe someone had a like a surgery here but it's like whatever this scarring is here it's like you guys need to eat but there was definitely some type of ending here maybe to your wish fulfillment here also some of you could have had rapid change to your diet some of you guys are maybe drinking more than you're actually eating it's like you're like on a liquid diet here for some maybe if you had some type of situation where you had a surgery or you got some type of stitches or something here maybe it's like you've been on a liquid diet but now it's time for you to get back into uh your solid foods here so take that as that resonates also i feel like you guys again could be suffering from something here that's causing you guys to lose your appetite to not eat but it's like you need to eat okay what is the message here for the Libras in regards to this overall energy? What is the message? We have the King of Wands here. And then the Eight of Cups. So it's like you guys could have walked away from something here. Maybe a fire sign energy. Also, it's like you guys could be manifesting at this time. But it's like you guys have to be aware of your diet. Your diet. I'm hearing kidney stones for some reason so maybe someone suffered like 
something here with their kidney stones maybe you like again it's like needing to eat your vegetables what is the message here in regards to this overall energy for the Libras? We have the Three of Pentacles. So if, again, some of you guys are working really hard, it's like you're really invested here. Some of you need to invest in vegetables here and fruit long term here, especially when you're working. So maybe you're the type of person here, it's like when you're working, you can eat a lot of junk food. I know I have that problem where it's like I will... Uh, buy something to eat versus bringing leftovers from home home cooked food and you know while i'm working i'm like eating chick-fil-a and eating all kinds of things like that so it's like it's it's definitely in regards to work in here some of you guys could simply not like vegetables but you're being called to add this to your diet and if it's not a vegetable then eat eat an apple it's like put some fruit and vegetables back into your diet here Clarify the king of wands. We have the knight of wands. So it's like you guys could be busy on the go. It's like you jumping through hoops. You got a lot of things going on. It's like you're really fired up and energized and moving forward here. Right? It's worth the cost. So it's like, is it worth the cost? Okay. So for some of you here, it's like neglecting your diet, not eating at all, or just like not eating the proper things. It's like, is it going to be worth the cost at the end of it all okay because it's like it seems like you guys are more focused on you know what you're working on you're putting your time into your creative passions and things like that your wish fulfillment it's like you don't want to give up but it's like you guys could be scarred you could also be scarring yourself in some type of way especially if you're if you resonate with not eating at all clarify the seven of pentacles We have the empress okay so empress it's like you need to invest in your fruits and vegetables some of you guys can actually have like trees in your backyard you can have fruit trees an apple tree also it's like you guys need to to rack up on some fruits and vegetables in your life in your house in your fridge in your body for some of you here it's important for this because for some of you here you could be pregnant here maybe for some of you it's like you're not even aware of this it's like and for some you actually are but it's like you're like newly pregnant so maybe you're changing your diet because of that maybe you're eating more fruits and vegetables because you know you're invested in your body long term you're also pregnant for some of you here so it's good for you guys to eat your fruits and vegetables at this time Some of you guys really need to because it's like this tree is like on my back in a sense. It's like you guys are needing to get your vegetables in here. We have the five of pentacles. So it's like you guys, again, it's like some of you guys are just not eating at all. Look how empty she is here. It's like for some of you guys, you could have been incarcerated here. That could have changed your, your appetite. Take it as it resonates. You could have just came home from jail or something here. Maybe you didn't want to eat the food there. Also, it's very important here for your strength. Also, it's like showing your body some love. Also, it's like for some of you guys, it's like your, your stomach is touching your back. You see them people fighting down there like in his stomach area. It's like you hungry, baby. And it's like, don't give up on food. It's like, you starving. You hangry, okay? <laughs> Y'all know they be like hangry, hungry and angry. It's like, for some of you here, you're actually having this attitude, right? You're acting like a big ass baby. And it's because you're hungry, you're hangry. And again, some of you could have been incarcerated and that could have affected your diet. Someone could have gotten incarcerated. That could be affecting your diet, right? It, it could have been an ending, and it's like you're like, and you're feeling to the point where it's like, I'm not even hungry, right? You know, sometimes we experience that where it's like, I'm not hungry, right? Your, your mood is all fucked up. Your vibe is fucked up, and it's like, I'm not even hungry, all right? But make sure you guys are taking care of yourself here. What is this Knight of Wands energy?
we have the four of pentacles so for some of you here it's like you're staying in also it's like you guys are holding back maybe for some of you here you feel like you ain't got it right because sometimes you know it's like isn't there like inflation or something going on at this time so it's like maybe you feel like you can't afford fruits and vegetables and you have to just stick to like the cheaper things or you know things that you know is not too good for your body but it's like do you eat fruit or do you not eat at all right that type of energy and it's definitely an energy here where someone is like behind bars here so again that could be external to you someone external to you maybe your lover maybe someone you're having a baby with here it, maybe someone is going away for a while and it's just it's like fucking you all up here let me see what else we get here make better fucking choices so when it comes to your diet make sure you're making better choices okay what else is going on with the libras here what do you want them to know at this time some good shit is about to happen okay don't let your issues fuck it up so for some of you here there's gonna be a period where you're moving out of lack here it's like some good shit is about to happen for you so don't let your issues fuck it up especially if you're someone who uh resonates with being incarcerated maybe that was your past life maybe in your past life you did certain things or partook in certain activities here that could have like led you to be incarcerated but it's like now it's like now you're home things are different it's like something good is about to happen for you here and spirit is not wanting you to allow you know your past to kind of interfere with this because some good shit is about to happen here for you libra some of you guys it's like you have to set boundaries for yourself here also, if you're someone that's prone to kind of like getting angry and fighting and doing things that could land you in jail, it's like you're being called to like not allow your anger issues or whatever this is to kind of interfere. This could be in regards to a job here. What are the messages here for the Libras at this time? You need some fucking yoga in your life. Ancient shit is cool. So for some of you guys here, it's like you could be like staying in the lot. You're, you could have been someone that used to do yoga. Maybe you stopped. It's like you guys are needing to kind of like protect your energy. Do yoga. Take care of your body here. For some of you, it's your wish fulfillment to get yoga. It's like go sign up for the classes. What is the message here for the Libras? We have you're the shit don't forget it okay so whatever for some of you here if you're struggling with something here that's causing you to lose your appetite and not eat it's like you will have justice the truth will come out all right you are the shit don't forget it libra here be fucking grateful shit could be so much worse so whatever this is that you're going through it's like be grateful because things could be so much worse here and the horn is honking like crazy What's going on with the Libras? Clarify, be fucking grateful. What do you want them to be grateful for at this time? Spirit said, just be grateful that you the shit. Be grateful for this passionate new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. It's like you didn't give up on something here. Be grateful for this new beginning you have. Be grateful for this new beginning here, okay? Because you're the shit, okay? This is why you have this passionate new beginning here as well. For some of you, it's in regards to love. For some of you here, it's like celebrate here. Be fucking grateful for this love. Be fucking grateful for this group of friends that you have. This celebration that you have. People celebrating you. People loving you. It's like you're the shit. So again, you could have lost someone here. And that could have affected your appetite here. And it's like, spirit is like, but look at... The other people here that love you that care about you okay this man and these friends or you know however that applies here for you your family 
Also, for some of you here, you could be wanting to sign up for yoga with your friends. Right? Maybe go hula hoop, go work out. It's like getting out of the house and going to work out. What is the Libra going through that's keeping them in this place of not eating and not working out and feeling ungrateful? What's going on with them here? We have the Three of Wands. So someone definitely could have turned their back or you turned your back. It's like there was definitely a tower moment as well. I really feel like for some of you here, you could resonate with someone being incarcerated or you could have been. Also, it's like you turning your back and watching your shits come in has called the tower moment here with friends here rejoicing and celebration. It's like it's like a complete attitude shift here it's like you guys could have went from this energy of the three of wands to being in this tower moment here and this could be something about your past here it's like you guys could be going back reliving the past it's like for some of you you could have for some of you here this could have something to do with a baby it's like you could be having nostalgia over a pregnancy or children here or a long-term investment here but some good shit is about to happen for some of you here i feel like you want to be pregnant so it's like it's important for you guys to kind of like start to nurture your body now for some of you you could have children already and now you're pregnant again or you're going to get pregnant this is going to be good news here for you it's like and don't let your issues fuck it up don't let your past issues fuck it up however that resonates with you because there was definitely a tower moment from something here in the past could be with your child's father here or your father for some of you it's your father maybe your father got incarcerated maybe you know this is something that is constant here and it affects your mood what is this tower moment here what is this tower for my libras we have the wheel of fortune. So definitely things change in here in regards to love, okay? A past love. This ten of cups, this dream come true. It's like you're stuck in your head. It's like you're not getting out. You're not eating. You're down. You're sad. But it's like you have a new opportunity here for you. So pick your head up, baby, and eat you some food. Someone could be sending you some messages here to check on you at this time. Some of you guys are really like angels in disguise, I want to say. It's like you guys are just like trapped in your thoughts. Not hungry. It's like, and you could get out of this uh, state of mind at any time you see fit, right? You see the cage is open here. And for some of you, again, like I said, it's like you're coming home from jail here. This could have been a long journey here. It's like you guys, again, and some of you guys are seriously, like, hungry. It's like you're not eating. It's like you guys could have been backstabbed and betrayed multiple times. So now it's like, again, like I said, it's like your appetite is gone. You're not feeling it. It's like you just stuck in your head. Clarify the Eight of Swords king of swords okay so it's like look it's like stuck in your head it's like you guys are kind of like maybe knowing that you should eat knowing that you need your vegetables knowing this this will also help you guys with your thoughts so for some of you here it's like you could simply be having like a whole bunch of negative thoughts and thinking weird and thinking uh very negatively it's like it's simply because you need food it's like your stomach is in connection with your brain so it's like you feed yourself it's like your your if you eat the proper foods it's like your thinking is much clearer so some of you here it's a simple like you could be suffering because you're not giving your body the proper nutrients so it's like now you're just stuck in this mental prison or in this state of depression because it's giving depression over some lover here and again, there's definitely uh, some of you here, you could be about to get into a long-term investment here with another person, and you're definitely going to end up pregnant here. You see all the fish 
around this feminine here it's like you're gonna get into this relationship and you and this person are gonna be expecting a baby this could be a water sign energy this could be an air sign some of you guys have a new beginning in love period something that's emotionally stable for some of you, you could be trapped in your head about this. Like, maybe you're not too sure about this person. What about the King of Swords? The Chariot, okay? So it's like... And then the Queen of Swords on the bottom of the deck. Big fucking Libra energy. It's like you guys are moving towards this pregnancy, this relationship, this good shit. Okay? So don't let your issues from the past fuck it up. For some of you, again, you could resonate with being incarcerated. And maybe you feeling like... You can't turn a new leaf. Your life is always going to be like this. Constantly getting into trouble. Constantly uh, being put away. And it's like there's something here that's going to happen for you. A relationship. A baby. Something that is going to, you know, be really good for you here. So don't let your issues fuck it up, y'all. You know, sometimes we could be our own worst enemy here. So don't be your own worst enemy, Libra. What else would you like the Libras to know at this time? We have the Queen of Cups, okay? So the King of Cups is out here. So you guys are moving towards a relationship. Can't fucking make it up. Ace of Cups. Big love. Look how she holding on to that cup of love. Overflowing love here. This is going to be something that's very transformative. After you guys are, were in this Five of Cups energy. It's like this love is going to, like, outshine this sadness that you were dealing with. So, you guys definitely have something good coming towards you, okay? For some of you here, it's true love. For some of you here, it's things being balanced here. Take care of yourself, Libra. So, let's see. Besides them taking care of themselves and eating right, what, what is the advice here for the Libras at this time? Queen of Wands. Okay, so it's like you guys shine. It's like you guys will get equal give and take here. Pour into yourself. Drink tea. It's like pour into yourself, Libra. It's like the divine is like calling for you guys to pour into yourself. Also, there's judgment and justice coming for you in regards to love here. After being burdened and feeling weighed down. And for some of you here, it's like you could really feel like weighed down. You don't have energy again because you're not eating or you need to switch your diet and start to eat some of the right uh, foods here. What is the advice here for the Libras? We have the Ten of Pentacles. All right. So you guys are being divinely guided towards family uh wealth luxury for some of you again it's like you could be like focused on the fact of oh i got a criminal history a criminal background but you're being divinely guided towards healing you're also being divinely guided towards being a star in some type of way or just having a lot of hope and healing it's like things are going to start to happen here for you that's going to give you hope that's going to make you feel inspired, right? Something that makes you want to take care of yourself. Something that wants you to, like, look at life in a different type of way and not judging yourself by what you did in the past, but what you're bringing to the table now, okay? You guys are definitely going through some type of rebirth, but definitely hungry, okay? Some of you guys could be out here looking like a skeleton because you're not eating. And it's also altering your mood. All right, Libra, so I want you guys to make sure that you guys are like eating, you're getting out of these negative thoughts, you're nurturing yourself, nurturing your body. Go do yoga. Take care of yourself, Libra, okay? Thank you guys for joining me. I send you guys love and light, and I'll see you in the next one. Stop.